Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 37. I apologize for the delay in getting out this video today, and yet my wife and I actually just finished purchasing our first investment property. That was a transaction that took up the majority of the day, so apologies for the delay. And yet, if you guys ever need a fun weekend or week-long getaway in Brenham, Texas, feel free to let me know, and I'll certainly get you with my wife, and she can talk to you all about our newest property. So... Today's challenge is about one of the first third-party integrations that Command is releasing, and it is super powerful, and I am super excited about it, and that is called Porch. In order to get Porch integrated into your KW Command system, you're going to want to come up to the right of your name here, click on this drop-down arrow, and choose Settings. From settings, you're going to click on, well, command settings and applications, or you can see it's already kind of defaults to the applications page. So if your screen doesn't look like this, click on command settings and then applications. It'll bring up this page. Next thing you want to do is to click on connect more apps. And this is actually going to take you into the KW Marketplace where you can start to see applications that are being added in to uh, enhance the KW command system and today's system or excuse me app that we're talking about is porch so when you click on porch you'll have the ability to add the application from this button right here now I've already added it so mine says manage the application and yet you'll want to go through the process to get it added once you have I'm going to show you how it shows up and once it look what it looks like so you'll just go through this process of getting it added into your system and once you've done so, you'll know because you can come down here and it'll show you Porch is current status connected. Now, where does Porch actually shows up? Show up, excuse me, that's within Opportunities. So let's click on Opportunities. And I've actually got a buyer transaction that I'm working right now. And this would be a great example. So we could click on Under Contract, one of my buyer opportunities here. I'm going to choose that opportunity. I'm going to view the details. And once I do, you see that Porch then shows up right here within the information on that buyer-based opportunity. Once I click on Get Started, it's going to tell me a little bit about what Porch does. So essentially, Porch is going to provide you with a repair estimate report. You're going to upload your inspection report from your buyer with their permission, and Porch is going to create then a repair estimate report. And you can see down here, it'll show you a sample. So if you click on Download Sample, this is basically what that report is going to look like. So it's prepared for, who it was prepared by, and then courtesy of. Next, we can come down, and you're going to see the second page basically shows you total deficiencies. If someone were to come in and do all of the repairs, so these are each of the line items added up, this is the discount you might get if they're doing multiple items. So, for example, a plumber may charge you a trip charge to come out. And he doesn't care if he repairs one thing or five things. There's only one trip charge. So if he were to do all of it, it might be cheaper than to do each one, hire five different plumbers to do five different deficiencies. Mm -hmm. Potential items are items that are on the inspection report, and yet maybe were considered not necessarily the most important ones. They just warrant monitoring or further investigation. So if you come down to the third page, it basically breaks down all of the items that need to be repaired or addressed. It shows them listed in item number, so you can see 1 through 17. It then addresses what the issue is and what page the report, right, what page from the report was it on, what's the action that needs to be done in order to solve the problem, and then what is the cost. Deficiencies means the one-off cost, and then you can see combined. So if you had a contractor come out and repair these three items, this is most likely what he would charge for each individual item, However, if he came out and did all three, this is probably the combined cost or the estimated combined cost that he would charge. Same thing for an electrician, a plumber. The roofer is only doing one thing. He's basically just fixing the exposed nails and shingle deficiencies. So that's why there's only one cost because it doesn't matter. There's only one thing. The cost is the same. And then obviously you can see these are some items that are not necessarily considered um, uh, priorities, if you will. They are potential issues. They're going to give you an estimate of what those costs are, but they're not included as potential deficiencies. So that's an example of what the sample report looks like. When you're in command, basically you're going to click on Get Started. It'll ask you for the file, so you're going to want to upload your actual uh, inspection reports. 
So here is the inspection report from this buyer transaction. It takes a little while to upload. Obviously, most of these inspection reports are still going to be decent sized reports. However, they should not exceed 60 megabytes. You see that there. It shows me that my report was successfully uploaded and I can click on next. Now the client is actually the one that paid for that inspection report. So we need to have consent or porch does in order to actually uh, prepare the repair estimate report. So it does ask you to put in your client's information. Once you put in that information, it will send them an email. And here's an example of what that email looks like. And it even tells them, hey, we're basically doing this. We're going to give you access to a network of professionals and a report. There's no cost to you. If you need a sample report, here's an example. You can click on that and it'll give them an example of the reports. Now, I would make sure that my clients know that somebody from Porch is most likely going to be calling them to follow up with them to see if they want to hire any of the uh, preferred or recommended vendors that Porch has. And yet it may be a better way or an easier way. At least, you know, they're with trusted professionals. Um, and I just would make sure that they to expect that call. You don't want them to get caught off guard. And yet the report, obviously a very simple and easy way to kind of get a dollar figure for what it looks like and helps you with the negotiations of your buyer based. And I could even see do this for listing based transactions as well. Sometimes you get the buyer's agent that sends you a copy of the report. You could then send that off to porch. Now realize it's a 48 hour turnaround time. They do have a rush option and that costs you $50 per report. And they say in that case, they'll get it back to you within 24 hours. So I did go ahead and order a copy of a report. I've sent it off to my clients. They've already approved it. So here in a few days, as soon as I get that back, I will do a, uh, a second video to kind of show you the real life example from that repair report and what they came up with on it. So look forward to that in a few days. But otherwise, that's it for today's 37th 66 day challenge 2.0. Guys, I hope you are having a fantastic week. Looking forward to an amazing mega camp next week. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much.